Problem number three, a compound shaft consisting of a steel segment and an aluminum segment is acted upon by two torques as shown in the figure. Determine the maximum permissible value of T subject to the following conditions. We have the shearing stress for the steel is limited to 83 megapascal and the shearing stress for the aluminum is limited to 55 megapascal. And the angle of rotation of the free end is limited to 6 degrees. For steel, use uh, modulus of rigidity equal to 83 gigapascal. And for aluminum, the modulus of rigidity is equal to 28 gigapascal. So first, we compute the values of torque based on the shearing stresses. So based on... Shearing stress. And this shearing stress is maximum. So the formula for the maximum shearing stress is equal to 16t over pi d cube. Okay, so based here on the figure, First is yes, we construct the low diagram and so kung dito tayo titingin, this is counterclockwise, meaning this would be compression so we assume that it is directed towards the section and here this is also directed towards the section so kung makikita natin dito we have here 2t and we have here the t so for for counterclockwise torque we assume that the counterclockwise torque is downward and the clockwise torque is upward. So in here, if this value here is zero and we have here the torque counterclockwise, so that is the torque T here that is acting entirely on the aluminum section. And if and then here we have also the counterclockwise torque and that is 2T so bababa tayo ng 2T so that is T plus 2T and that would be 3T and that is acting entirely on the steel section so this is the load diagram we're in yung torque is acting on the compound shaft in our problem so based on the shearing stress we have for the steel the maximum shearing stress is equal to 16 but as you can see here if this is steel the torque acting in it is 3T, so this T here would be 3T over pi diameter cube. So computing for
meter so we are just going to divide this by 1000 and that is 679.04 newton meter So, based on the maximum angle of twist, which is limited to 6 degrees in the problem, so we have here the total deformation the total angle of twist is equal to tl over jg of the steel plus the tl over jg of the aluminum section so we have here the angle of twist since that is six degrees and we convert this into radian, so that's pi over 180 degrees, is equal to the torque in steel. So remember that the torque in steel is 3T, while the torque in aluminum is T. So we have here 3T multiplied by the length of the aluminum section, and that is equal to 900 mm. So we have here 900 mm over the J. So that's pi diameter to the fourth over 32. So the diameter is 50 mm to the fourth over 32. Multiply by the modulus of rigidity of the steel, which is 83 gigapascal. So we have here times 83 times 10 to the 3 megapascal plus for this we have p the length of the aluminum section is equal to 600 mm so we have here 600 mm over the polar moment of inertia that is equal to pi diameter of the aluminum section 40 mm base to 4 over 32 
multiply by the modulus of the GDP for the aluminum which is equal to 28 gigapascal. So we have here 28 times 10 to the 3 mega pascal. Now solving for the value of the torque and we would have 6 times pi over 180 this is equal to 3x times 900 over pi times 50 raised to 4 times 83 exponent of 3 over 32 plus for the aluminum section that's 600 x over pi times 40 raised to 4 times 28 exponent of 3 over 32 shift shift solve equals and we would have 757,316.32 newton mm so this is 757,316.32 newton mm now, if we are going to convert this into Newton meter, then this is 757.3 Newton meter. Now, since we are asked to compute for the maximum permissible value of the torque, so we compare our answers and we have here 679.04. This is 691.15 and this is 757.3 Newton meter. So we would go with the lowest value and this value here is the maximum permissible value of the torque and this is our answer.